getting a rare incurable disease that results in disability is the type of thing you don't think will ever happen to you. It has definitely made me slow down and realize what's important in life. After getting the diagnosis, I pretty much ignored it. I still did not quite believe that it was real. I just kept living as I normally did. I did not make many changes to my life. When symptoms did get worse, I stopped going out as much as I used to. I did try to hide and mask my symptoms from people as much as I could, including family and friends. I participate in the trials not only for myself, but I want to be as close as I can be to treatments or even better yet, a cure so that I can be as strong as I can for my family and for my friends as well. I'm flying out from Las Vegas to California for the clinical trial in UCLA, and I'm flying on JSX airline. If you don't know about JSX, it's a semi-private airline and if you have a problem walking, any kind of movement disorder, ataxia, or any other disorder, this one is um, much more convenient because you do not have to walk through the entire airport, <laughs> which is really cool. And the pricing is a bit more, but if you just have a short trip, it's actually not that much at all. I'm flying from Vegas to LA, so it's really not that much. And you only have to check in about 20, 30 minutes before you fly, actually depart. So it's so convenient. I'm trying it out for the first time, and so far I just walked in, checked my bag, We're about to take off here soon. Departure the Vegas area. Press the flight check, mostly smooth. Current weather out of Los Angeles, clear skies, light winds in the west. So that's done. And right now I'm actually spending some time, time with my family. I did see some friends as well. So actually that's another benefit of traveling for clinical trials. I can use the downtime to connect with people I haven't seen in a while or to catch up on work. So yeah, tomorrow's day three of my four day uh, round trip. I fly out to Texas on Monday morning. It, they do have wheelchair service, which I did not know about before. It's very helpful. So normally I walk with a cane, just like short distances, but for longer distances, those are really tough. Anyone with a movement disorder would know about that. It's been very helpful, so I'd recommend doing that. Just got to Texas. sunset. I'm pretty tired so this will be pretty quick. I had my appointment in Houston, Texas this morning at Houston Methodist Hospital. That appointment was mainly a physical exam, a few time tests like the peg test. You put in tiny little uh, stick pegs into little holes and they time you to see how long it takes. The walking balance test um, and a bunch of questions. Um, they also took a skin, a tiny skin sample from me as well. So all this will hopefully help their study so they can find treatments for ataxia or even better yet, a cure. I'm 
I'm back home in Vegas. I've had a couple of days of rest. I'm still a bit tired, actually. I didn't quite realize it when I was on the go, when I was traveling. But now that I'm back home, I can definitely feel it caught up with me now. <laughs> but that's okay. I can rest up. I'm not concerned. Next time, I'll probably space them out for sure. If I ever have to like that, I have to do. I'll try and space them out next time. People are reluctant or hesitant to participate because they think that there might be some kind of pain involved with the trial. I will let you know that I have never been in pain in the trials. Just communicate to your doctor what's going on because you're a team working together. So, uh, and they don't want to see you in pain, of course. So just communicate to them what's going on and they'll make suggestions. Um, and that could very well quickly, easily clear up what's going on. Thank you so much again for following along. I hope this has provided some insight to uh, how it is to be involved in cl clinical trials. And if you have any other questions, you can shoot me a direct message. Um, if there's something I'll left, I've left out that you're cur cur curious about, I'd be more than happy to answer. All right, thank you guys and have a good night.